Hey, welcome C3 NYC youth to this week's Youth Hang. This is Lewis, your, your Puerto Rican Dominican uncle. Yes, and I am here to encourage you guys on this week's uh, message. And I want to share a quick encouragement. I know we're on the theme um, on the power of with and, and how God is with you. He is with all of us. And I want to just encourage you guys off of a scripture that's really been moving in my heart over the past few weeks. And it's been really been helping me in my prayer time. And uh, I want to read to us out of Psalms 144. Don't worry, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, but Psalms 144 verses 1 through 4. And it says this, Praise the Lord who is my rock. He trains my hands for battle and gives my fingers skill for battle. He is my loving ally and my fortress, my tower of safety, my rescuer. He is my shield and I take refuge in him. He makes the nations submit to me. O oh Lord, are, what are human beings that you should notice them, mere mortals that you should think about them for they are like a breath of air, their days are like a passing shadow. And um, what I, I wanted to share this scripture with you because it's really been helping me stir up just a greater level of, of just um, intimacy with the Father in my prayer time. And I, and I hope this encourages you too, because as I'm reading this, I, I, I just truly enjoy and love the, the intimacy that David has with God, the creator of all things. And the, the question that I felt the Holy Spirit asked me as I was reading this, and, and hopefully it helps you, is who is God to you? Who do you say that he is? And I don't know about you, but this is uh, quite an important question. You know, as many of you are probably just discovering more of who God is, we all are, you know, we're always on it. We're on a journey. And for maybe for you, you've been, maybe if some of you guys have been growing up, grown up in church all of your life as myself, you know, uh, this could be such a, quite a interesting, great question because oftentimes we've heard a lot about God and maybe you're new to faith and today you're just, hey, hey I'm here to, to know more about who he is. And, but oftentimes so we can kind of just get caught up in the faith that, yeah, I, in the head knowledge of God, like I know who God is because of some, what someone else told me. Maybe you, le you listen to one of um, Kevin and, and Brittany's amazing messages or from Pastor Josh or whoever it is that, that's been speaking into your life and that's awesome. We, we wanna know more about who God is, but do you, do you know that God wants intimacy with you? That he actually wants to know you personally. And I, I love this about David because he knew who God was to him. He goes on and he, he goes and he calls God, he's my rock, he's my strength, he's the one who trains me up, he's my loving ally and my fortress. And I love this, that, that, that you can tell that David and God has gone through some seasons. They've gone through moments of ups and downs and all through Psalms, you know, I love that, you know, David has had moments where he's praising God, he's giving thanks to him, he's got, got moments where he's, he's, he's loving life and then there's moments where he's just Moments that he has lots of questions and he's, he's frustrated. He needs God to show up. There's, there's people after him and, and he needs God to show up in his life. And I love that, that in through all those ups and downs, you can tell that God and David had created such a beautiful intimacy and a relationship that, that now David in the moments of prayer, in the moments where he begins to, to seek God and praise him, it became from, from a moment of calling God for who he is in his life being the rock, being the fortress. And, and I want to ask you guys this question, who is God with us? Back to that first question is because I don't want you guys to simply walk away to today off of this youth hang and say, oh, this is what Pastor Lewis said, or this is what, you know, um, someone else told me about who God is. But I want you to encounter God for yourself. And, um, you know, I love this, that, you know, he says, he says, uh, God, you are my rock, which means that, man, he, he's the, he knows that God is a firm foundation, that his faith lies in him. And, and that I love in the second um, verse, in the second part of that verse, it says that he gives me strength. He trains me up. And uh, this is super cool because uh, David isn't just saying that, that, oh, he trained me up before, like God just equipped me before for the battle. But every single day is a moment, is an opportunity for God to train you up to train you up for the seasons to come, to train you up for the moments where you feel like, man, I can't go anymore, or you feel defeated. No, God is right there with you. And I, I just wanna encourage you guys today to actually get to know who is God for you? 
Like, is he, is he your, do you believe that he is your heavenly father that has good things for you? Do you believe that he's actually your protector? And maybe some of you guys, this is kind of a hard um, thing to think about. This is hard to kind of wrap your head around. You're like, oh, does God even want good things for me? I just feel like he's just this creator all the way up there and, and we're just supposed to give him praise, but that's about it. It's quite a bit of a distance. But no, actually, I love this, that because David was actually, was able to know who he, God was to him, he actually would, would be able to understand that the presence of God is with him. And so I just want to encourage you guys as you in your prayer time and as you guys unpack um, this scripture a little bit with with your group in this youth hang. Um, I just know that as we begin to declare who God is for you, that you would actually feel the presence of God near to you. And so um, I hope this encourages you today. And uh, yeah, I just want to end with this prayer for you. Father, we just thank you so much for every youth who is um, tuning in. Lord, I just thank you that this message, um, that every youth uh, would, would know who you are to them, God. And we just pray that, uh, yeah, anyone struggling with the, the idea that you, have, that you are the uh, Heavenly Father who wants good things for them, that you're, you're their protector, that you're the, a person that they can, they can have faith in, that they can have trust in. Lord, I pray that, that every person would encounter every characteristic and part of who you are. And Lord, so we just thank you, Father, for this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, well, we love you and we're excited to dive deeper into this.